I would describe myself as half decent at Sabre Showdown, essentially meaning I'm consistently the best in the server. So this short video will explain tips and tricks you can employ so you can be half decent just like me. Because it's absolute chaos when you join the game, I'm going to explain the theory in the training map and then show you the same theory employed in a real duel. Without further ado, let's jump straight into the first trick. Now without a doubt, the most important thing you have to master to get good at the game is the stamina system. When you attack or block, you lose stamina, as you can see here. It is measured by the red bar in the bottom left. And if you want to win the duel, essentially all you have to do is consistently have more stamina than your opponent. So when they get weak, you can swoop in and destroy them. To regen, all you have to do is block by holding right mouse button. Or no matter what stamina level you're on, you can fully fill it up instantly by killing your opponent, as you saw there. Now, what you may not have realized is that jumping also uses up stamina. So, when you're in a duel, do not be jumping about unnecessarily because you're essentially just handing your opponent the victory there. These are very simple things that you have to understand, otherwise you will never consistently win your fights in the game. So here's me using good stamina maintenance to kill somebody in a real game scenario. <laughs> So the next thing that you can use to get better at the game is using the force. So by pressing F you can choose which force you move you want to use. I like to use push because it's always funny to push people off the map. But you can use whatever you want. A lot of people don't know actually how to use the force. They just press F and hope and wonder why it doesn't work. But what you have to do is very very simple. Let's say my opponent is dual duelist over here. All I have to do is rest my crosshair over him for a few seconds and then press F. And as you can see... I use the force on him. It won't work if he do if it's not smoking yet. That's me pressing F. No, nothing. In a real game, they glow blue and smoke like so. And then just press F and it'll work every time unless they are blocking. Now also something that a lot of people don't realize is you can get out of the force grip. which the classic Darth Vader chokehold. You know this one. I'm sure if you've ever been caught in this you think there is no hope and you're guaranteed to die that's not true at all it's really very simple to counter so when you see this red hand in the bottom left corner of your screen you know somebody is trying to use the choke on you all you have to do it's very simple keep your head and as soon as they grab you like this you press f and it'll send them flying it's not hard at all you can do it every time as long as you don't lose your head and press it too early or too late all right so tip number three involves physical fighting. To win a duel, you need to string your attacks together to form combos. It is really not as complicated as it sounds. A combo is basically just button mashing, as you can see here. I'm doing nothing special other than, rather than attack weight, which is really slow, I'm just spamming and chaining them all together. Now, depending on your form, which I'll get to later in the video, you can either do three or four attacks in one combo. So when I'm fighting in a duel, I follow the same pattern every single time. I start off blocked, I hit all four combo hits, and then I go back to blocking. This way, you're getting maximum hits on your opponent, but also maintaining stamina and not dying through the block. Also something a lot of people don't realize as a side point is the direction you swing is based off your WASD keys. So if you want to swing left, you just press A and click. To swing right, you press D and click. So here's some footage of me beating somebody in a duel using different direction swings, combos and blocks. <laughs> Okay, so you're in a fight. You know the theory of what you've got to do, but you're still dying. Why is that? Well, I'll tell you, you're not ducking and weaving. Now, that's the term I use to describe the movement that you need to get. Every movement you make should be to put your opponent in a vulnerable position. 
The best way to do this is you be facing them while they are facing away from you. This leaves their back exposed, allowing for a very easy kill. So in an ideal world, you'd come across somebody like this facing the other way, just mindlessly attacking, but you're not going to because the real world isn't ideal. So what you've got to do is maneuver them to put them in the position you want. So when you're in a duel, what you want to constantly be doing is circling. Now your real opponent won't be facing the other way. They'll be spinning about all like this. But you just need to make sure you're circling around and striking. So when they take even a second to pause, you're in. They're in a vulnerable position and you can strike and take them down. So here is the same clip that you saw before. But take special notice on how I'm circling them, trying to get them into a vulnerable position. <laughs> So the very last thing I'm going to go through is forms. You're going to find it in the edit tab here where you can choose your saber, change your color, that kind of thing. What you want to look at is this right here. So I'm going to very quickly go through all five forms, briefly analyzing them so you can make a good decision on which one to base your fighting style around. Now, just a side note, this is different from the color of your lightsaber. You can change it to however you want it to look here. Your form is completely independent from that. So the blue form is form four. It's got low attack, high defense, but most importantly, very quick attack speed. Attack speed is the, by far the most important factor, making Form 4 one of the best options. Form 1 has 12 attack, 55 defense, and slightly slower attack speed, but that's made up for the higher scores in the others too. This is my personal favorite form, it's the one I use, because you can very quickly get in, get hits away, and it's got real power to back up the speed as well. Now the red form is just all out attack really you're very slow and you've got poor defense i really don't like this form because it feels sluggish i rarely win duels when i use this because they just hit so many more times and melt through your stamina now the pale blue form form five is very very good for beginners high defense low attack speed so if some aggressive person's coming at you you can defend against them easily and when they run out of stamina swoop in with your high attack speed and just finish them off. A great form for all levels of the game, but especially beginners. And the purple form is similar to red. It's completely useless. Too slow to really achieve anything. Don't use it. That is all from me in this video. I hope you found it useful. If you did, let me know in the comments. If you didn't, let me know in the comments. I always reply to everyone. If you have any questions, let me know. You know where, in the comments. And I will see you in the next one. Have a great day. Peace out.